What up YouTube? It's the Porta Keeper Epa. Today I'm going to show you how I built my chicken plucker. So stay tuned for that. What's up YouTube? Uh, so this is my DIY chicken plucker I made. Uh, it's a whizbang style plucker that I purchased the book online from whizbang.com I believe. Um, pretty simple build. Wasn't ridiculous. A uh, little bit of work. Uh, mostly out of 2x4 construction. There's some 2x6 across the bottom here. Uh, and I'm going to go through with you how I built it. So it's basically a 50 gallon drum cut down. Uh, and the 2x4 framework fits basically right around the width of the drum that you're using. And then uh, on the bottom you have the motor here. You got an electric motor. Uh, try to get at least a half horsepower if you can, if not a full horsepower. I believe this is about a one horsepower motor. Uh, mine didn't have a bracket, so I had to MacGyver mine in place. I had to make a little tie down strap, and then I made a brace here. And then uh, they actually sell a pulley system on eBay for the whiz bang style plucker. Uh, I believe it's like 70 bucks or so but uh, if I can find it I'll try linking a link in the bit in the comments I believe this is an inch and a half or a two inch pulley and this is a 14 inch and uh, everything else is about this is all two by six construction and then to hold the motor basically the motor section is two by six and then two two by sixes one on the top and then one on the one on top one on bottom and they run across and then you need a, a shaft I believe mine is a 5 8 solid steel shaft I got from Lowe's. They actually sell ones on their website that they charge you a ridiculous amount for. But I figured for what I was doing, it was going to be good enough. This was an add-on I did. Just screwed down about one foot pieces of 2x4, 5 3 inch screws. I made an axle out of a half inch threaded rod. Double nutted on the ends and I just got some wheels from Lowe's. I don't know how well you're going to be able to see this, but on the two cross members here, the one that the, sits, that the barrel sits on, and the 2x6 one here for the everything else, uh, these are pillow, blo uh, pillow block bearings uh, for 5 eighths to make different sizes. Uh, I got these on eBay as well. I think they're about 20 bucks a piece. They have actually grease zerts on this side, and then there was one on top here, and that one has a grease zert as well which you should grease them at least every year or every time before you use them because there's a lot of water when you use this and that's just a picture of the motor and then there's, I just did some wire in here and I got a waterproof box not necessary just fancy if you just wanted to leave the plug it in and out every time you use it that's fine too but I just did a waterproof switch I also made a handle for easy moving with the wheels I might have to replace this one. This one's only like half inch, but it's starting to crack here, so I might have to redo this piece here. But whatever, it's 32 years old. Uh, I just did a, I think a one inch dowel here for the handle. This is the tub. You might have seen it in my chicken video of processing. If not, I'll try linking it up top right now if I can remember it. Uh, these fingers are especially designed for chicken plucking. You gotta make sure you get the right ones because they have ones for small fowl as well, like ducks and quail and all that. Uh, there's about probably 70 fingers in this one. Uh, there is a typical pattern that they use when they make theirs commercially. But uh, as long as you basically have some fingers up the sides, you're good. Uh, I believe these fingers were around 60 bucks for 100 or so. Price has changed probably over the last couple of years. Uh, they actually sell a uh, 3 8 piece of uh, aluminum like this on their site as well. Oh, I think you can get it through eBay as well. They're kind of pricey. This is actually the back of a uh, Do Not Enter sign that was on my property when I bought it. So I just basically cut it out and then I just strengthened on four spots with some uh, 1 inch aluminum angle just to stiffen this up. And then this basically moves with the pulley system. This is what does all the work. The sides stay stationary. The bird bounces around. Uh, I'll try including a clip of the one of the birds being processed when I did it the last time. 
just so you can see how it works if you never watched it. But that's basically how it goes on the inside. On the design in the book, it actually calls for, for you to cut the whole bottom of the barrel off. Uh, but I've seen a couple of uh, things on line. If you leave the bottom on and just cut out this section, an opening like this, and you actually point a couple of the fingers downward. Let me see if I can get some of the fingers to turn around. These fingers point actually down in the barrel here. So they actually help shed the feathers that drop, so the water doesn't drop down on the pe on the pulleys in the barrens. Uh, so it doesn't wet the belt, so you get better contact. Just another view of the pulley. Right here, it's not spinning that well because the motor is up against the ground right now. But that's just basically how it works. Also, the design in the book calls for carriage bolts two of them on every single piece of contact and then lags for the sides that go into the in, in through here. Uh, I basically just have this all assembled with three and a half inch uh, exterior grade screws. Uh, I've processed about 70 birds through this and it does not look like it's going to fall apart anytime soon. So save you money. Uh, so as for me, I got the barrel for free. I bought the 2x6s and stuff, so I think I had about 4 or 5 2x4s and two 2x6s. Uh, I received the motor for free. actually cost me a case of beer from somebody I knew. They, didn't, they had it laying around, so I bought them a case of beer. Uh, and then I purchased the wheels, uh, the threaded rod, and I bought the pulley kit, and then the pillow block bearings, and that was my expenses in this. Oh, and I bought the waterproof switch as well. So basically, I built. If you can get the motor for free, you can definitely build us under 200 bucks. Uh, definitely good, worth doing. Uh, if you guys give it a shot, uh, yeah, I think you can actually buy the book too as well. Like for this, it's only about 20 bucks. Definitely worth it. I purchased it. I think it was worth the money. But uh, if you can, you, if you're pretty mechanically inclined and good with some tools, you should be able to build us just from looking at this video, honestly. Uh, and I'll try including a couple of the the formula for the the RPMs that you want this to spin at. Well that's it guys. Hope you guys enjoyed the video on the chicken plucker. I uh, hope this was useful to you guys. Uh, you guys can give it a shot. Uh, definitely worth building less than 200 bucks. Um, better than spending about five, six hundred on the cheapest model you can get right now, pretty much. But um, this definitely works. I've used it uh, about 75 birds now, and my Cornish crosses were pretty big. Uh, if you've seen the video before, I uh, did about eight, nine pound birds, no problem. Uh, you can do four or five pounders two at a time on this. And uh, I don't even have a belt tensioner on this as well, so uh, I'm thinking about putting a belt tensioner in. I might even be able to get more torque out of it due to keep doing multiple birds, even do maybe a large turkey. But uh, if you guys liked it, please like, share, and subscribe. I really appreciate it. Uh, stay tuned for the next one. Take care, guys.